King Theodin was so upset about not receiving any help from Gondor to defend the Westfold against Isengard that he decided to gather all the Rohirrim from the Riddermark to attack the White City. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to defend Gondor versus seven hard armies and every single one of them is Rohan. Let's get it started. Oh man, this is gonna be challenging because at some point of the game, Rohan is gonna just spam lots of ends on us and yeah, ends are kind of tough to deal with, especially when we have only 80 available command points, which is always the case on an 8 player map. So we are not allowed to recruit many, many units. But it's fine, we will try our best to win this game, and it's going to be done at the very first try. Trust me on that one. Are you sure about that? Yeah, 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 I'm sure about that, trust me. Alright, let's recruit Peregrine Took. To be able to capture those settlements next to our base. We will need the money. And you can see yourself that we have only 80 available command points. And alone our Gandalf, the wizard, is going to take 10 of them. So we have only 70 command points left. Which, I mean, we will need everything. We will need archers, we will need Gondor knights. Because without archers, it's, it's going to be almost impossible for us to defend ourselves against the ants. But fortunately for us, Gondor has the best defense, best walls. And also we can even empower that by building the stoneworker and making our towers hit like an absolute truck all right let's creep this goblin at the bottom right side with peregrine took and also let's close the gate <laughs> i don't want to be gate rushed i don't want to lose the game within the first five minutes early game should be kind of fine because again we have walls around the base and they are not able to enter until they will have enough money to build the end mood but uh, again we will need heroes like Faramir Boromir to be able to fish the power points to unlock the Gandalf the White spell from the Spellbook of Gondor, which is going to make our Gandalf to the best hero in battle for Middle Earth 1. Hey, Peregrine Took, attack please. He's gonna get some levels, but it's about the money we will be able to collect after creeping the Goblin Lair at the bottom right side. And also, cash looting is bad. So let's build, build, build. Alright, the build uh, placement wasn't the greatest. I wish we would be saving this spot here for the, for the marketplace, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Now we have enough resource buildings inside the castle, and we will now be able to start saving for Faramir, the captain of Gondo, and give him the chance to finally show his quality. Peregrine Tuk is quite low. We might also use the heal. Let's use the heal, I don't want to risk the biscuit. Because, you know, it's gonna reload and we have no units on the field beside Peregrine Took right now. That means we won't also need to heal anytime soon. Just save for Faramir. There we go. And the next hero on the list. Uh oh, he's coming. You know what? We need to get invisible with our Hobbit boys. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Don't steal my money, man. Don't steal my money. Come on now. He's gonna steal my money, right? Come on. Come on. Oh. Okay, at least one part of the money got secured. This goblin is chasing me all the time, gets invisible. Nice, we are able to get invisible. Faramir is on the field. Let's open the gate and also save for Boromir. Faramir can be used to defend his farms as long as we potentially can. There is a level 2 peasant and Boromir will be recruited next. Remember, Boromir is a bit more expensive than Faramir, but they are both able to enter the battlefield by being rank 3. The level means a lot in BFME 1 because once Faramir is level 5 and Boromir is level 4, we will be able to unlock a lot of leadership. Faramir should be able to handle the situation, I'm assuming. Yeah, should be fine. We will build now one more blacksmith, one more here, and these two spots are gonna be saved. Oh, look how much damage Faramir is taking, even from some normal peasants. Actually, a lot of damage got taken. That's why we will need to build a well for the sustain and also archer range to recruit some archers, which we will definitely need in order to be able to defend. Hold on a second. Boromir can tank this fight and Faramir can shoot from a safe distance. And Boromir's leadership is very important because that's the only way Gondo can ever receive damage leadership. Mobile. I mean, you can always build a statue inside your base, but until this is gonna happen or when you wanna move out and fight, Boromir's leadership is gonna be very important to be able to burst down those ends a bit faster. So let's recruit. Uh, two archers, that's what, what is needed to get the archer range to level 2. Again, in 1v1 you have more command points, which also means you will need to recruit more archers to get your black, you know, archer range to level 2. But in a 4v4 match or 4v4 map, which is old brown lands, uh, you will need a little bit less because you have also way less command points as you can see until. 
Put on me a stanky. If one power point collected, one more is needed to get Gandalf the Grey to Gandalf the White. Alright, Boromir is almost level 4, level 5 Faramir, that's great. Let's move out with the archers, we won't need them. I would like to sacrifice them to get some more space for the rangers instead. But once again, at some point, we will also need Gondor Knights to be able to fight for the map control. Gondor must stand. We have heal. Yeah, we have heal. So let's get, get them together, the captains of Gondor, and let's use heal. The pressure is real. So let's, let's build a tower on each side, left and right. And also get archery range to level 2. Boromir needs to be level 4, guys. ASAP. It's going to make our units deal 60% more damage. And also Horn of Condor will be unlocked with level 5, which is stand for the nearby enemy units when they are not level 2. Or when there are no heroes nearby that can give them fear resistance. Okay, flaming arrows now, that's beautiful. So now let's recruit one. Let's demolish the farm. Luckily, we have both the farms still under our control, which is very important and very nice. And we have no money yet for Gandalf the White. That means we can actually invest the power points for something like the Elven Allies, or actually go for the Elven Wood. Because we can spam Elven Wood in front of our base. What, what Elven Wood does in Battle for Middle Earth 1 is it nullifies enemy leadership bonuses, and on top of that, our units are going to receive 40% armor boost, which always is able to stack with Faramir's leadership and Boromir's leadership. And you can see, they are shining bright like a diamond. Okay, Ranger now. It's the best archer unit in the entire game, by the way. But uh, we won't be there in time. The farm is going to be unfortunately taken down, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. It was expected, you know? They are attacking. And again, and then again, and then again. So this is going to be up on the field. And the first upgrade is going to be Iron Ore. Which is giving us 20% more resources from the blacksmiths. And again, this game is going to last a while. Since we will need to def <laughs> defeat 7 different factions. 7 unique factions. I will defend my people. And uh, the longer the game goes on, the more beneficial the marketplace upgrades are going to become for us. For our economy at least. Let's also get the Grand Harvest. Even though we have only one farm outside, but it's okay. Again, it's a long-term investment. And last but not least, the Siege Materials, which is giving us 50% of the initial investment back when a building from, from us gets destroyed by from our enemy, you know? Okay. So once again, at some point, we will also need Siege Weapons to be able to break through the gate of Rohan. Because without Siege Weapons, he will just close the gate. And we have no way of entering that. So we will need a lot. We will need rangers. We will need Gondonites. We will need Gandalf. We will need trebuchets. We will need so much. In order to be able to win this game. Actually, you know what we can do in the meantime? We can summon the Rohirrim. Just to check and scout the area. The last thing what you want to do is kill those settlements. You don't want to do that. Why are you asking? Glad you're asking. Because if you do that, they will have a space which can they use to build the end mode, which is the worst case scenario. You don't want that to happen. Trust. Our Hobbit is also invisible still. We can also use him for scouting this area, maybe. Just get inside the jeans. Nice. So let's trample. Alright. He was closing the gates, but it's okay. If we can kill the archer range, it would be nice, but I think it's not going to be possible. We mustn't let them close. Boromir needs to stay we close. close. Just get power points now, and at this point, we will try to see for Gandalf. 6,000 is needed for the wizard of Middle-earth. The best hero in battle for Middle-earth 1. For and also, Boromir needs to stay close to these units. There is still in. He, he has no chance. Barami and Boromir are hitting like a truck. And boom, he's gone. Boromir is hitting level 5. That's great. Barami can also now use the Captain of Gondor to level them up. Our Rohirrim summon is gone, but it's okay. He was also building multiple towers. So now we have enough money, guys, for Gandalf the Grey. And the second he comes on the field, we will turn him into the Gandalf the White. Why we don't do that you know, before that is simple. Because if we do it before, the Wizard Plus... <laughs> I can't even talk. The Wizard Plus is going to be on cooldown. That's why it's important to wait until he joins, and then we will use the power point from the spellbook to turn him into the Gandalf the White. Let us, prepare for this Let us prepare for battle. Okay, I want to get one more ranger before we're going for a transition into the... Uh, first of all, we need to build stronger defense, because otherwise we won't be able to leave our base anytime soon. Okay, Gandalf the Grey 
Kind of the right. Great, great, great. Alright, so we can also give him, give this unit a fire arrow. Please, there we go, nice. Now, let's demolish one of the blacksmiths to build the stone worker to have a stronger defense. I will try my best to get our Gandalf to level 10, which should be easy to do because, again, we will need to kill so many units in order to be able to win this match. When it comes to destroy an enemy castle, I wouldn't be in hurry because if you have not enough money to buy the castle yourself or to have you know enough money to defend it, it's gonna be just a waste of time. Because the last thing we want is destroy this castle, so other Rohan player can just capture this one, you know? That's the worst thing that can happen. And defending two castles at once is a bit more challenging. That's why we will need some time until our blacksmiths are hitting level 3 and our resource income is gonna be looking a bit better. But you can see we have already trouble with the command points, guys. Okay. Just block this pathway. There is a tiny pathway which is nice for us. It's like in the film 300, you know? The outnumbered advantage the, the outnumbered advantage doesn't matter in a spot like that. Alright, so we have the stone worker. 3000 is needed for the battle tower and keep archers. That's gonna make our towers deal insane amount of damage. Let's defend this area against Eomir. Hopefully we will be able to kill him with Gandalf. Gandalf is very, very strong, as you guys know. Alright, we don't need to move. Gandalf is going to be able to take him down alone. There we go. You know, he's the best hero in the game. And then the reinforced gate. Again, we will also need to get some trebuchets very, very soon. There is Theodin. We will have to kill a lot of Theodins, Aragorns, Eomers, of course, Legolas and Gimli. But it's Rohan who is trying to invade the White City and the White City must stand. Level 9 farm. You don't kill the farm. Again, you don't want to face against ants anytime soon. Uh, you don't need to uh, keep the stone worker. But what, you, what I would always recommend is as long as you have the stone worker, you will get 20% discount for your defensive structures. For example, a tower which normally costs you 800 will only cost you 640. So before you demolish it, just make sure to build every expansion around the fortress. Just to have a greater defense, you know. And then after that, we can demolish it and build the siege works to be able to recruit um, some trebuchets. Okay, so this spot, I believe we will need another Entmut. Uh, uh, not Entmut. No, no, no Entmut, please. Let's go for one more trebuchet. And then we will build two more towers. And maybe one trebuchet right here in the middle. And again, once we have the fire stone upgrade purchased from the siege works, we will also be able to purchase that on the trebuchets on top of the wall. And whenever it's available, just use Captain of Gondor to get them to level 10. Level advantage means a lot in battle for middle of one. And the more levels a unit has, the stronger it is going to become eventually, right? So let's build one more trebuchet upgrade. And then we will need to build only two more towers and we are golden. We are Gucci. And we don't even need to close our gate at this point. We will have such a great defense that it's not going to be needed. All right. Build this. Now we can demolish this. Again, we will still keep all the upgrades from the building, even though the building is demolished. Now we will need to save 1500 to 1500 to be able to build the workshop for the mighty trebuchets. They are the strongest trebuchets in the game. Oh, Rohirrim are coming. And again, us not killing those farms means a lot. Because if we kill the farms, he will be able to recruit uh, or build up the end mood all the time. And this is really annoying to deal with. Trust me, no one. Boromir is face tanking, but it's okay. Eomir is going to be taken down next. If Gandalf stays nearby, uh, he will give 200% combat experience to your units. That means they're going to hit level 10 very, very soon. Just like the heroes. Don't kill, don't kill. Alright. Siege work is coming up. Sharing experience is great. Sharing is caring, as you guys know. Oh, don't kill. Hey. <laughs> ah, nah, whatever, you know. More challenge, more fun. Because he will now build the end smooth there, trust me. Anyways, let's get some trebuchets. Level 6 Gandalf, even though he is not killing anything, but we are keeping him close to the archers. This way he is able to share experience, which is very important. 
And also, look, that's what I'm talking about. You see? Int mode is coming up instantly. Let's kill it. Let's kill the ants one by one. Let's kill this horse. Oh, this ant first. Oh, they are coming, boys. They are coming, boys. You gotta kill the ants first. And you see how fast he's able to recruit even more ants? That's crazy. Let's call the Rohirrim here. And get some more trebuchets. Level 7 Gandalf, that's great. Kill this, please. Let's kill this ant hood. Right, the ant is going down. That's great. Our rangers are highly leveled now. Level 7, level almost 5. The ant mood has been taken down. That's great. There is Legolas. Let's kill him. Let's use warning arrow on him. Gandalf is level 7. That's even better. Warning arrow is going to burst him. Boom. You see the burst? Okay. The power points are rising to the sky. But we are taking so much damage from the tower, so we need to peel back. 10 power points collected. We have enough for the eagles. And we will save for the Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead is also able to break through the gate. Alright, so... But we don't need that because our workshop is level 2. Which means we have the chance to get the Firestone upgrade. And after getting the second castle under our control, we will have also no money problems anymore. Because keep in mind that we have the Marketplace. Which means 40% more money from the Grand Harvest for the, from the farms. And 20% more money from the Blacksmiths. So money is not going to be a problem because the second base will be filled with... Farms exclusively. There is Aragorn, Aratorn's son. He's running it down. And he's gone. He's gone just like that. Level 10 and level 8, right? Yeah, level 8 and level 10. But once again, we can always use, use the Captain of Gondor from Boromir and Faramir to level them up. I mean, once again, level 10 is maximum. So higher than that is not possible. You see our towers are shooting with lasers. Let's give them all Firestone. Firestone. Okay, nice. Great. Alright, so let's move out. Let's fight. We have almost the power point we need. Power point. Oh, again, end mood. We already know where it's coming from. Maybe this, maybe this area, but that's the only possible way. Even more ants. You can hear them crying. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good at all. But fortunately for us, our Firestone upgraded trebuchets are going to hit like a truck. Like, the ants have no chance against Firestone upgraded trebuchets, guys. I'm telling you. Absolutely no chance. You will Look how many ants, boys. Do you see that? Level 10 uh, Boromir, level 10 Faramir. Boom. You see the burst. Let's kill the ant mood. So he's not... Uh, even more ants coming from that, from there. Holy guacamole. Let's kill them with the eagles. Let's kill the ant mood ASAP. Boromir needs to be a bit closer. Ant mood is so tanky too. Look how many shots it's needed. It needs from the Firestone upgraded trebuchets to be able to take it down. Hey, hey, don't trample. Kill, 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 kill. Right, let's kill the ants mood before more ants are coming. Hey, hey, trebuchets, please. Oh, we are losing all our stuff, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the case. Let's kill this. Oh, we lost one of the level 10 ranges, right? No, we didn't. So just be back, just be back, just be back. You can keep, fight, keep fighting this, no problemo. The ant mood is still not taken down. Please kill the ants first, eagles. Even more ants are coming, boys. I cannot believe that. We gotta, we gotta defend this trebuchet. So where is Boromir when we need him? Alright. Let's use lightning sword to kill the Rohirrim as they are trying to kill our trebuchets. Don't let that happen. Right, he's using even heal. Oh, the ants are raging now. Holy guacamole. Boromir, Boromir, Boromir. Don't get slapped by... Oh, Boromir got slapped, boys. Ah. <laughs> luckily, we were able to save our angels. And luckily for us, that Boromir doesn't cost any command points. But holy moly, that's what I was trying to say. Don't kill the ant moods. He even destroyed one of our uh, trebuchets on top of the wall. But it's fine, it's fine. 15 power points collected. That's great. Now we have actually the army of the dead. The ants are standing no chance against our rangers when they are level 10. But you see, it's not like we can one-shot them. When Boromir is not nearby, it's actually quite hard to kill them. 
So let's go around with Gandalf. Um, yeah, the good thing about this matchup for us is that Kondo has the best summons in the game. And also he was just building a farm here. But there is another end mood. And yeah. So, so you know what? Let's move out. We will need to destroy this castle ASAP. But you can see he's, he was building multiple towers. So getting inside that is kind of tough. And even more ends are coming all the time. We should be maybe waiting for Boromir, but wasting time? We don't have that. We have no time. We gotta move now. He's there like, Gandalf, come on. Oh, kill, kill, kill. Oh my goodness. Come on now. Faramir warning arrow, maybe? Alright. But even our rangers, they need so much time to take them down, you know? Look, this ends. So let's peel back now. Okay. Let's use... Let's peel back with the rangers. Let's get more rangers. I don't want them to recover yet. I will explain in a second why. Because we can this way extend our command points, which is very important at this stage of the game. Boromir. Gandalf is almost level 10. It's great. If also seven power points collected, we are only missing the Alvin allies. Other than that, everything is going to be unlocked very soon. We have so much money now, we can also buy every upgrade from... Wait a second, let's buy them one by one to upgrade them or purchase them a bit faster. Money is no problemo right now. So let's make them dance around. This way we can delay the... We will also need more trebuchets, man. Alright, heavy armor is ready, that's not nice. Let's give them also a banner. Even more ants are coming. Luckily for us, our... Hey, don't kill my Gandalf. If, it happened to me many, many times that we killed our own Gandalf with the trebuchets, you know? They have friendly fire on. So let's recruit one more. Keep dancing around. And I will explain you guys why. Hold on a second. Firestone is getting purchased. We gotta kill this end ASAP. Oh, there we go. Nice. Look at this end. He's just getting inside the jeans. For no reason. Boom. Burn. Boom. Nice. Okay, now we can stop moving. And you will see what happens. You see, we are able to extend our command points. And there is only one unit remaining from the battalion. And you can save the one unit. And I'm bring him, bringing him back to the well. Hey, don't kill my archer range, man. Right. Oh, I'm killing my archer range myself, actually. All right, nice, nice. We are in a good spot. So, basically, now we gotta move. I would like to move from this side. Just ignore the ends coming from the front line. Luckily, this farm is still remaining, but once this farm is going down, he might also be building some ends from this area, which would be pretty hard for us to defend. So we have a level 10 unit, which is still badly damaged. Gandalf, you need to join the party. And we need to siege this base now. I would, or we could be using, of course, our army of the dead. But let's try to get away without using it. Because I would like to save, especially when I make an you know, offensive move like that. I would like to save our army of the dead for the defense. We can also close the gate and hope for the best. Let's close the gate as more ants are coming all the time. And let's go for Siege, shall we? Where is Boromi at? Boromi is also there, nice. So let's break the wall. And let's try to keep our trebuchets protected. But you see, ants are extremely tanky against anything but fire or magic. So that's why we will need to demolish at least one of these towers in the front line to be able to build yet another trebuchet expansion. Because as you can see, one is not enough, you know? And this one is also... Did you guys know that you can also heal them with the heal from the spellbook? Luckily, our gate is kind of tough and tanky. So it's able to withstand for a long time. Boom, boom. Nice. He's going down. Now we need to start repairing this. Come on now, please. This farm is going down. Hopefully, he's not going to build another end mood right in front of our face. It would be really bad for us. Just break more parts of the wall. There is Theorin guiding the army of Rohan against the forces of the White City Gondor. Oh, he was able to. Don't build the end mood, I'm telling you. Okay, like, luckily. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do now? Let's recruit Peregrine Took. I will explain why in a second. Oh, might be a little bit too late. More ends are coming now. 
If he's building an Entmut there, I would... Ah, he's building an Entmut indeed. So we will need to summon the Eagles, boys. We might lose the gate. Alright. Maybe we should even build some more trebuchets on top of that. I'm not sure. But the Ents are going to war. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is scary. Peregrine took... This gate is going down for sure. Yeah, it's going down for sure. Now they can get inside the jeans. Oh, even more ants are coming, guys. Do you see that? Holy moly. RJ range might go down. Let's repair the gate if we can. And let's cloak our hobbit here. This way he can't build another ant mood. Hopefully for us. RJ range is safe for now. In the meantime, we are also crashing our opponent. Tildin is diving in. I don't mind about losing archer range at this stage of the game because we have already many, many archers on the field. Enough archers on the field, actually. Hey. You are summoning the Alvin Warriors, but it's okay. You just need to make sure to not lose our heroes anytime soon. Kill this Theorian, please. Alright, nice. So the gate is getting repaired. <laughs> Holy moly, man. This is tough. So you know what? Let's call the Rohirrim. Gandalf can also join the party. Let's go inside the jeans. I see Aragorn, Araton's son. Is that blast? Nice. So you know what we're gonna do? We will, we will wait until Bleedmaster is gone. Because without Bleedmaster and without uh, see it, Anduril Sword. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. That's, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to get Gandalf level 10. That's very nice. Let's kill the Citadel. And let's slowly but surely take down this Rohan. Uh, there is Legolas, who is killing our entire army. Please, deal some damage. Protect our catapults. Rebuchets, nice. Okay. Gandalf. Gandalf. Be careful, my friend. In the meantime, our base is in a safe spot. And once again, our Hobbit is denying them to be able to build more end moods, end moods in front of our base. Which is quite hard to defend. Alright, nice. We are going inside the jeans. Let's kill the farm right after. Our rangers are strong, but they are also quite squishy. You know, they are like glass cannon units. So they are not able to tank damage for a long time. We will, we will build one more trebuchet here. I think, uh, you know, these towers are actually kind of useless against Rohan. Maybe we should be building full trebuchets around the wall instead. But I, actually, these, you know, behind are not doing anything for us, so. I mean, he's spamming ends on us all the time, so. Let's build also one more trebuchet expansion around this area. So we have four. So on each side. Hey, look how much damage we are taking, actually, man. Oh, man. Borrow me a tank, please. We lost one of the rangers. Oh, that's bad. And we have, the problem is the amount of command points we have, you know, to fight with. That's the biggest problem, boys. Alright, Paramia was right-clicking on this one, but this has been defeated. Nice. So we have one out of seven defeated. <laughs> so we have only six more to go. Let's go. Right, this base is in a safe spot. Let's build a trebuchet expansion right here. And then, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we gotta close the gate ASAP. And make sure that this farm is under our control. to not face any time any more ends. And this base is in kind of a good spot. And the, our, our Hobbit is doing a phenomenal job, by the way. Just being able to deny him from capturing this. So let's build expansions. What is the shortcut for that? A T for trebuchet, okay. T, T, T. And then we will build also T, T, T. Let's build full trebuchets, just why not. And inside the base, we will build only farms. Because we have the Grand Harvest. Keep in mind that this is going to make our... Farms generate 40% more resources. Firestone upgrade. By selecting one and then pressing E, you can select the same units on your screen, you know? And give them Firestone at the same time. So now we have enough defense. And we can just go around with Gandalf and buy this farm ASAP. And we are actually lucky that this farm is under our control now for a really long time, you know? So Gandalf, get out there, my friend. The gate is open. More ants are coming all the time, but it's fine. There is Theorin. Just make sure that he's not able to capture this one. And now I will show you guys the power of Gondor lead scheme. Gondor is a monster power point wise from the 
from any faction in battle for middle or fun because you have the most powerful summons of the game and because this is the rohan who has the end mood under his control that's going to be also our target so let's use the actually you know what we will not waste any power points or any spells from guns off on that one so let's get inside the base let's call the rohirrim and the alvin allies He's closing the gate, but it's fine. Because now what we're going to do is we will call on the army of the dead. One of them can kill this ants. One of them can kill the gate. Because if the gate is closed, you can kill this simply with your army of the dead, you know? Alright, so let's go. Let's call all the Rohirrim. Let, go, let them go inside once it's able... Once we are able to break through it. Let's go inside now. Go, 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 go. Right, the Entmoot has been also taken down by the army of the dead, which is the, you know, the best summon. There is Gimli on top of the wall. The city has been broken. We might not be able to finish him off this time, though. Let's use War of Power. There we go. Oh, we are taking so much damage. Oh my goodness, man. Eowyn, the shield medal of Rohan is crushing our guns off in a one-on-one. -on -one. And in the meantime, we can also move out maybe from this side. And let's try to go to this side. This seemed out. But again, this is not going to be enough. He has so many towers, we might even lose Gandalf. Come on now, please don't lose Gandalf. Gandalf has a really long revive time. The last thing that we want is to lose him. Alright, he was even destroying one of the trebuchets. Come on now. Let's send Gandalf. Oh, we actually lost the archer range. But it's okay, we will build this table now. We will need some assistance. And this guy's... There they are. What should we do? Find cover. Right. Nice. Keep a look out. This guy, is, he was actually able to destroy so many trebuchets already. How? Why not the counterweight? How? Stay quiet. Get it loaded. Hurry. Again, Intmoot, my dude. Cut it loose. You are triggering you me. Seriously, you are triggering me. Where is Boromir at? Boromir, you need to join your brother to support them with additional damage and armor, uh, damage leadership. Trebuchets, hit, 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 hit. Nice. Yeah, when they are burning like that, they will also receive damage over time, you know? Alright, great. Let's get them also Firestone to make them hit a bit harder. And look how, it's, you know, the end mode is surprisingly tanky, by the way. Really tanky building. You need to also close the gate. And you know what we also need to do in this kind of situations? Build another Stormworker. Because the Stormworker upgrade on the on the towers works also for the second base. But the walls and the gate has to be upgraded manually. So for that reason we will need... Oh, don't kill our own units, man. Don't kill the trebuchets. Oh, man. One of them has been taken down. We also need to defend... Get Gondonites. You will need Gondonites, boys. Oh, another end mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. I was not paying attention. We lost every single trebuchet on top of the wall. Holy moly, man! That's some catapults too. What he can do? We can do the same. And even more ants are crying all the time. Oh, this one is gonna be taken down, but it's okay. Baramir, what are you doing, bro? Where is Boromir? At? Boromir, you need to join your brother. That's what I told you to do. And more ants, boys, more ants. Just why not? So let's try to destroy them. Let's use the lightning sword. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> These guys are eating like a truck. Holy guacamole. Let's get them all the upgrades they need. I think he was not repairing the gate yet. I hope. That I will be able to enter this. Oh, Faramir, Boromir. Guys, 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 guys. I mean, ranges are pointless, let's be honest. And Faramir is getting run, run, run it down, you know? Faramir is getting crushed. Stop it! Faramir has fallen. Oh, man. You guys are always, you know, having those weird challenges, which is which are really hard to, to pull off, you know what I'm saying? Like, really hard to pull off. Stop it with these ants. <laughs> this is so tilting. Oh my goodness, we are command points cap too. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go for the attack. We gotta... Ah, uh, man, what we gotta do now? Maybe we should just spam, like, ignore every other unit. Look how tanky they are against anything but our Gandalf spells. And Gandalf has only two spells that can kill them. 
Let's kill the ends mood, by the way. Let's kill the ends mood ASAP. Boromir. Stormworker. There we go. Buy all the upgrades. Again, this one can't be purchased anymore. Let's, you know what? We're gonna use the water of power. Nice. Let's just kill them a bit faster. Water of power does also not deal any damage or not enough damage to the end. So we might just use it against the Rohirrim and Treebeard. Let's peel back now. Let the catapult handle the situation. We need more Gondonites. If we can afford it, of course. We must stay together. Treebeard is gonna get killed. That's beautiful. And now let's make an opening for the for the second base. And even more ants are coming all the time. Hey Boromir, you gotta peel back, my friend. There is another ant mood coming up, boys. You know why. I mean, just why not? Let's trample down this peasants and kill the Rohirrim Arches before they actually. Alright, so. Yeah, we gotta peel back. Mm. Maybe I'm gonna use the lightning sword. Peel back on the knights. Nice. Kill this ends. Nice, Gandalf. Good job, Gandalf. You are gonna be able to save Middle Earth very soon. Right, guys. You catapults. Oh, we lost so many Gondor Knights there. Holy moly. Did we lose a full battalion? Nope, we didn't lose a full battalion. That's great for us. If now one more for the third one, that's even better. Now we have three Gondor Knights and Gandalf level 10. But the catapults are going down one by one. And we will need to get more of them. Luckily, money is not a problem. So now we need to make something happen. We need to make something happen before more ends are coming. And even, I don't even know if this is possible to face even more ends anytime soon. Everything is damaged and uh, you can see falling apart for us. Farami is back on the field. That's great. Let's repair the gate. And also this gate has to be repaired. And you can hear the ends crying all the time, right? We have four Gondor Knight Battalions now. That's great. Just peel back. Go out. Don't get shot by the on catapults. And even more ends are coming. And even <laughs> this guy, though. So you know what? We're gonna use the army of the dead here. Let's kill the ants first. Army of the dead will kill them in a single shot. He was even repairing the gate. I cannot believe it. It's fine. Just kill the gate. Army of the dead, please. ASAP. In the meantime, let's call on the Rohirrim. You gotta try to defend, uh, defeat this Rohan ASAP, boys. Let's go inside the jeans with the entire army of Rohan and army of the dead. Let's let the normal Rohirrim from the summon go in first. This way they can tank the damage. Because army of the dead is going to be gone soon. We can even call the eagles now, just why not. Gandalf can use the lightning sword on the middle. To get it a bit faster. Let's split the Gondor Knights to make it more effective. Okay, Boromir is also taking so much damage from somewhere. I don't know what was killing him almost. Parami can join his brother. Let's open the gate for that. Gandalf is taking some damage. But it's okay. Right. Let's get them also the shields, which is gonna make them tanky against the arrows. Very important. Gandalf is taking so much damage. Right, Gandalf, come on. Let's use heal to get them up. Kill this last building, please come on now. And defeat this Rohan. Alright, we are getting some more catapults. It's great. Great news. Now we gotta lead to the bottom right Rohan. This one has, has been defeated. It's nice. Now we have only five more to defeat. Alright, so we also lost a lot of Gondor Knights, right? Yeah, we have only two battalions. But you can see the more we defeat, the more available command points we will eventually get. Alright, so nice, nice, nice. So let's bring this trebuchet right here. This has been captured. That means also this end mood has been eventually taken down. That's even... That's all. Let's build this. More and more farms. Right Close the gate before he goes inside the jeans and build towers this time. In the front. In the behind, we can build trebuchets. You wanna fight Gandalf? No way. So let's fight if you want to fight. I don't mind that. Let's build towers here. You know what? Farami can also maybe join them, you know, when I think about that. Because Farami will also offer them leadership to make them a bit tankier, you know? So it's better than him not, him not doing anything. Even Boromir can walk with them. By pressing more ends, boys. More ends. But oh, we gotta close the gates, right? Yeah, we gotta close the gate. Let's demolish a couple of these. 
to actually build some towers for the worst case scenario. BBB. -B -B. We must stay together. Fly, okay. Alright, Stormwalker is up. That's great. Let's get them also Firestone. This end mode is going down. That's beautiful. Alright, we need to open the gate though because Farami was not able to get away yet. Farami is still inside the castle as you can see. Okay, beautiful. So let's kill Aragorn. Every hero is level 10. Farami, come on. We are waiting for you. Do we have more Gondor Knights? We have one more Gondor Knight. Great, great, great. We are now using no no So where are our trebuchets at? Okay, so let's join the trebuchets to destroy the castle at the bottom right side. Let, that's the plan. Oh, look, Elmi is able to one-shot this. Holy moly, didn't know that. He's only level 1, too. Come on, trebuchets. Kill this Elmi. On your face, son. On your face, son. Sit down now, get knocked back. How does how does it feel? How does it feel? There we go. Oh, he doesn't die. Alright, so let's kill him. Our base is indeed in, in, in a good spot, at least for now. Okay. But I'm afraid that he will also build the end mode right in front of our face. And for that reason, let's peel back. Let's break the gate. And then we just go inside the jeans and... Deal as much damage as possible. Right now we have also lots of armor. With Gandalf and Faramir, our Gondor Knights have 100% armor. And Boromir is also making them deal a bit more damage. I'm afraid that he will be building an end mode here. I hope that's not gonna be the case. Okay, let's crush this. Maybe three trebuchets are not enough. Maybe we need a bit more. And actually, you know what? Yeah, he's building indeed a end mode right here. Let's close the gate. Just play it slow. There is no reason of going inside and dying to all these towers he was just building up. Let's make one more opening. Luckily, I mean, the AI in BFME 1 is not very smart to demolish the buildings and replace them with the end mode. You can play around that by not destroying the enemy settlements like the farms. This way, he can't, they can't build end modes because they will always buy that. Oh, look. Nice, so we just damage them a little bit. Let's get inside the base now. Let's call the Rohirrim. Make them make them tank the damage instead of our normal Gundam Knights. Let's get them inside. Then we can follow up with our own army. Alright, so you just kind of split and deal whatever. Are you guys ready for the Nostacrass? I hope you are, because I'm going to use it. There we go, nice. I mean, we could use and uh, we can we could use eagles here, but I think it's not necessary. I think we are in a good spot. Right? Hilden is dead. Let's split them. Right? Nice, nice, nice. And I think this base is also gonna go for uh, gonna go down. Our defense is very, very strong. There is Aragorn or some are, some more peasants. Let's move on. Let's destroy this. And let's repair the gate, shall we? Nice. So we were not losing our Gandalf one time yet, but Faramir has been taken down once and as well as Boromir, but it's okay. The good thing about this uh, 1v7 videos or 1v7 is like that you are able to get your power points unlocked from the spell book in no time, really, because you kill like so many units all the game, you know? That's our castle number four. That means we have only four more opponents to be, to be defeated until we are... Victorious, okay? So for that reason, let's build yet another of these Stormwalker upgrades and then just build some resource buildings inside the base. Our resource income is looking amazing. Like, you can't have better resource income than that. Let's build one more and then we will just build towers. Tower, 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 tower. So let's zoom out a bit and then select one of them. Like mentioned many, many times, when you select one of them and you press E, you can select all and then press F to upgrade them all with Firestone. Yeah, he's going inside the jeans. I'm down. Hey, hey, hey. Or trebuchets, though. I didn't... Oh, I was not paying attention. Okay. You know what? For that, we can actually use the army of the dead. Let's do this. Let's call the Alvin allies to get the vision we will need. That's gonna force him to eventually close the gate. You can't kill the gate with Army of the Dead when he is not closing it. Don't ask me why, it's like a bug, but it is how it is. So, just close the gate, come on now. He's not closing the gate. 
Let's use heal to heal him up a bit. Let's use army of the dead first. And go inside with the entire army. And kill his base. Just ignore everything else. Kill the buildings exclusively. Let's get the most aggressive stance or the wedge formation to maximize their DPS. Because Boromir is also, yeah, Boromir is also making them deal 60% more damage, which is even better. Kill the farms. Kill the buildings only. Okay, kill the kill the buildings only. Go, 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 go. It's gonna also hopefully defeat him. He might be able to end smooth here. Which just, you know. Oh, there is there are even more ends. Let's build a tower right here. And let's recruit some more trebuchets. Money is once again no problem. One of them has been defeated, and now all of a sudden we have 150 command points, please. And I believe we will only have to defeat three more Rohans until we are victorious. We improved the smithy. Nice. In the meantime, we are getting siege, I believe. And for that reason, let's destroy two of these towers and build some trebuchets instead. Because once again, the problem is our towers, even though they are the strongest towers in the game are still not able to hurt. Look this Ermia. Look how strong he is. <laughs> Get Easter light, my friend. Farm, farm, farm. Build also the stone worker. Farm, farm, farm. You know what? Hold on. Build a stable here and double well for the double sustain. Money is no problem. We don't even need to build. There is an end mood coming up, I think. Let's build towers on the one side and trebuchets on the other side. Because he can't attack us from the bottom side. Since we are the one who is owning the base, you know? Okay. So, let's give them Firestone. Even more ants are coming. I cannot believe that, you know? <laughs> That's annoying. Sp stop spamming ants on us. Come on, please. Give them also Firestone. There we go. Now we are also able, finally able to recruit some more... Gondonites. I mean, we could also get again some rangers on the field, but I believe they are quite slow and we will, at this stage of the game, we will need some mobile units to dance around a little bit faster. Gondonites are needed. With Firestones, it's gonna be a different story. Trust me on that one. We could also use Eagles. We have not used them for a really long time, but I think it's not needed. Okay. Alright, we will be able to siege this, no problemo. We reinforce the gate. Talking about the gate, let's repair this. And build also two towers, just to be a bit more annoying. He's building also end mood right here. Let's peel back with the army of Gondonites, since they have no chance against the mighty ends. And that's unbelievable, like how many of them are getting spawned, you know? That's un un unbelievable, like I don't know what to say. Guys, please just focus down the end mood. That's all you gotta do. We reinforce the gate. Our Gondonites are also able to kill them when they are level 10 like that. Especially with Boromir being around. Let's use Cloudbreak to stun the army. And you know what? Let's go out. And call the Eagles. The Eagles are coming as Peregrine Tuk would like to see. Let's get out. Trample down the army first. Let's kill the ends moods. So no more ends anytime soon. Gandalf, you can one-shot one of them. By the way, if you guys don't know, also the warning arrow from Faramir is able to burst ends. Not 100 to 0, of course, but still dealing a great amount of damage. But we are just killing our, ourselves at this point. Okay, let's replace the trebuchet we just lost. Same here. There we go. Nice. It's back on the field. And Eagles, please, would you be so friendly and take down this end mood? Since it's annoying, Boromir, my, my, my brave friend, I wasn't even paying attention. Are you out of your mind? It is too much indeed, my friend. Oh, Boromir, no. I take your revenge. Just ignore them now at this point. Just ignore them and go. Go keep, keep going. Did we kill them? Yeah, we killed. So let's buy this farm. No more. Uh, there is Gimli. The eagles are gone. Just trample down these units, no problemo. Peregrine took. We can also move on maybe to this spot. And we will have to replace the trebuchets we are losing all the time. And let's attack the one at the top right corner first. Our army of the is almost back up, so we can do the same once again. Just force them to eventually close the gate. 
I hear even more ants. That's unbelievable. He's closing the gates. We can use the army of the dead to break it. Right, break it, army of the dead, please. Okay, he's it's broken. So go inside the jeans now. Break it, nice. Just kill everything. Just water power. No star grace. Let's just focus on everything. Army of the dead is gonna be gone soon. We gotta make sure to use the wedge formation with all our Gondonites to make them deal a bit more damage. Burst down these buildings in no time, please. That is Theorin on top of the wall. What are you doing there, my friend? Are you enjoying your sight when your base is falling down? Almost one-shotting him. And also, hard army units have a bit more HP. The hero would just receive too much, much more damage, by the way, from Gandalf History Light. But because it's the hard army, it's a bit more challenging. Okay, there is Aragorn. Let's kill this end mood. Let's kill this guy first. Which will only leave two more Rohans behind. So basically, right now, we have only two more opponents or three more. No way. This guy should be defeated now, right? Yeah. Now we will have only two more opponents left. So we defeated uh, five out of seven. But it's still kind of not easy, you know? Boromir is back on the field. That's great. Army cannot sustain more units. It's sad to hear. Let's buy this castle. And he's even... Look how many trebuchets we have. <laughs> I was wondering, you know, why we have no command points. But now it's the time for us to be annoying, you know what I'm saying? Let's build double well. Farm, farm, farm. Once again, the same situation. The stone worker. Let's build some... Trebuchet expansions around the fortress. Nice, nice, great. And build multiple walls. Just like that. Okay. So everyone is getting firestone. This end mood is going to be taken down very soon. They are still burning. Oh, he has even three builds here. Didn't even see him. My bad. I'm blind. Okay. I mean, we have a strong defense. Really, really strong and solid defense. We shall remember this day. We shall remember this day. Oh, Aragorn, what are you doing there? Okay. Just trample them down one time. It will kill eventually a couple of our units, but it's okay. As long as the full battalion doesn't die, I'm fine. I'm down. We need to give him Firestone. Uh, this trebuchet. Because Tribute is, unlike the other ends, much, 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 much more tanky. Especially against anything but fire. And I don't know, man. They are still going for more ends. That's, <laughs> that's so funny, you know? Let's give them also Firestone to make them a bit more tanky. There we go. We are healing up over time. That's great. Oh, I couldn't get out with the Gunner Knights because the gate was closed, but it's okay. More ends. Beautiful. We must, stay together. we must stay together. Our catapults. Okay, catapults. You guys move on. I will just let the base defend itself at this point, you know? You guys kill the end mood, so no more ends anytime soon. Let's call the Elven allies to defend. This trebuchet against the peasants. Just break the gate and we are golden. We are golden. Okay. He's closing the gate, but it's okay. I'm gonna open another gate for myself, my friends. Yet another gate for myself. Always break at least two parts of the wall to not have to pass through a like tiny space like that, you know? Which can always be bad because like in a tiny space like the Gimli is here. Let's kill him. You can see we are able to destroy these things in no time. Okay. Because we have so many trebuchets now. We can kill whatever. Gimli has been taken down. It's beautiful. Let's trample down these units right after Boromir. Oh, Boromir against Legolas. Let's go. The show match. Boromir, Boromir, I will not let you die. This is not a film, my friend. Here I have the control of your feet. I got you, Boromir. Legolas, why are you running? He's using the knife fight and running. Yeah, that's what I thought. You have no chance. Oh, he's turning back. Boromir, the Legolas Slayer. Come on, Legolas. Come on, Bo Kill it. Come on. Lock him down on the ground, Boromir. 
Oh, Boromir is Leia. Oh, Boromir is dead. Oh, I'm killing my own hero. <laughs> the, the problem is the trebuchets, they have the friendly fire. <laughs> okay, let's revive him one more time. It's okay. Don't kill our own stuff, please. Oh, we have so many trebuchets. It's okay. It's time to get serious. Indeed, my friend. Let's go to the spot. Everything is falling apart. Okay, nice. So the last building. And then we will only have to defeat the Rohan at the top left side, ladies and gentlemen. And hopefully this was enjoyable for you guys. I know some of you guys like this one versus seven videos a lot. And let me know which is the challenge. What is the challenge for the next video? And uh, you guys wanted to see Gondor against seven hard Rohans. And here I am. On this channel, you get what you want, what you're asking for. And if this was enjoyable, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. And also subscribe for more content like this in the future. I still got it, boys. I still got it. I might be old now. I'm 31 years old. But I still got what it takes. To defeat not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven hot armies in battle for middle of one. And this guy, the last guy is still spamming ends on us. What a memer. Is the end mood here? I'm not sure. I'm, I believe it might be there. Can't, can't tell though. We will see about that. More trebuchets behind. Just to... There is no end mood. Okay. The farm is ready. The farm is ready. The farm is ready. I mean, look our money, guys. We have almost 100,000 resources collected. 100,000. Like, we could lose everything and rebuy everything once again. Or maybe even multiple times. Yeah, you come back in Denethor's name indeed, but you are a bit too late. Never mind, the captain of Gondor is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Of course, Gandalf is the MVP, ladies and gentlemen. Gandalf is the best hero in the game by far. That is the end mood, I see you. You know what? We can handle the situation, no problem. Just wait for the trebuchet army to arrive. To break the gates from the last standing faction. Gondor, the White Tree, is not going down today. Legolas is taking so much damage. Holy moly. The trebuchets, and that's the thing, you know, they are hitting so extremely hard. It's unbelievable. Let's use heal because they are all damaged. Let's use a pot of power because I believe we will not get the chance otherwise. Let's break the gate in no time. Look at this. Trebuchet. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. Alright. Gate broken. Is Aragorn coming or what? No, no, no. Aragorn can't join the party. There is, there is Gandalf, you know? Gandalf level 10. Who is the best hero of the game. Be gone. Let's call the Rohirrim for the civil war of Rohan. Let's make them kill each other. In the meantime, these trebuchets can just try to kill some towers, which are quite annoying. Let's use the cloud break for a brighter ending of this 1 versus 7 video. Elaine, get all you want, Aragorn. Aragorn, you wanna you wanna mess up with uh, Gandalf? Let's see. Ar let's see. Let's see, boys. So you see now. Now you see Aragorn. Now you don't. <laughs> I mean, when he has no Anduril, no Blade Master, Arag uh, Gandalf's Easter Light is able to one shot him. Let's call the Eagles, just why not? They were also in the ending of the films. They can also take a part here. Let's call the Elven Alliance. They were not able to make it to the end of the film, but they can make it to the end of this video. And once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in this game we killed eventually more like the more than 100 ends in total. But once again, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, Gondor is the best defense by far. The very hard hitting trebuchets, crazy strong and effective balls. And it was just enough to withstand the end spam from the Rohan factions. And Gondor is victorious. But of course, uh, it would not be the same with evil factions like Isengard and Mordor. Since you were much more vulnerable. But it was still fun defeating seven hard army Rohans on the map Old Brownlands in Battle for Middle of One. And if this was fun for you... Make sure to be subscribed to the channel because this channel is dedicated to the Battle for Middle Earth games. And if you want to do me a big favor, you can also check me out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv uh, twitch slash beyondstandards. That's the place where we are organizing tournaments for Battle for Middle Earth games, cash prize tournaments, really competitive scene of Battle for Middle Earth game like you have never seen before. You will not regret by checking out the Twitch channel. Trust me on that one. I will see you next time, guys. Until then, take care of yourselves, keep it in like a track, and as always... 
stay beyond standards. Peace out.